Special Nicole and I am back with another video. Today we're going to play in a little bit of makeup and I have received some products from Merit that I want to show and share with you all today. So thanks to Merit for sending these products that I know are going to be something that you all will enjoy. So today we're going to do a quick kind of 15 or I'm going to share with you my 15 minute beauty routine using some of the products that I receive from Merit. So let's get into the products and Merit the brand. So Merit is a clean beauty brand. They are clean, they are vegan and cruelty free and they take a holistic approach to clean in general with their beauty products. So I'm going to get into this, oh it's upside down, get into this box. I've already opened it, but I just want to show y'all what I received. Um, you can see that it is saying that it's minimalistic beauty. So keeping it simple, which is what this face is going to be today. It's going to be beginner friendly, simple, something you can do every day, kind of a makeup, no makeup look. And I'm telling you, it's going to take you like 15 minutes 20 tops not that long so in the bag but in the box i have this cute little i think it's a makeup bag and you can like tie it up isn't that cute so all my products are in here i have three products that i'm going to be using today in this face routine this is the packaging isn't that so nice and sleek so this product is the Minimalist. It's a perfecting complexion stick. Um, so it can be used for foundation or concealer all just depend, or contour. It all just depends on the shade that you choose. I chose something that I'm hoping will be close to a foundation shade. This is the container. Nice and sleek and simple. I really love that. And then if you take off the top, this is what it looks like. I think this, it twists at the bottom to give you more. It's really cute and sleek. I have this in the shade Cacao. And we'll go ahead and see what it looks like. So it's a little darker, but... I would rather be dark, get a shade that's too dark than get a shade that is too light because you can still work with something that's too dark. The next product I have is also in a cute little package. It is the Merit Flush Balm uh, Cheek Color. So it's basically a blush. I have it in the shade Beverly Hills. This is so cute. And then it says Merit here on the front and you screw it off so it's essentially a cream blush but they call it a balm so Sim similar and the last product I have is this shade slick it's a tinted lip oil I'm excited about that and I got it in the shade taupe isn't this packaging just so cute? I forgot to swatch the blush, but this is cute. So of course we're gonna be doing something soft glam and all of these are perfect for that. So I'm gonna swatch this blush for y'all. I think that's a pretty color. And all of these products are available on their website. I will link a link to the website down below and then they're also available at sephora let's get into this routine so the essential part of being able to knock out your 15 or 20 minute makeup routine is already having your products laid out about the ones you want to use today i will show you my workspace but it's a little messy right now so i can't show you but i have my foundation or my face product i want to use my primer the blush 
my concealer, my setting powder, every and my contour. They're all here ready for me to just grab and quickly be able to move through my makeup routine to get my face done. So first off, I am going to start with my brows. I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I've shown you how I do my brows and I'm just go ahead and knock those out. I'll be back once they are finished. Okay, my brows are done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. After using primer, I am going to use some setting powder to then set the primer. And I'm gonna make sure that setting primer, um, setting powder is close to my skin complexion. Now we are ready for our base, AKA our foundation. So I'm going in with my Perfect and Complexion Stick. It feels, first of all, it's not that far off, like just a smidge darker, but going on is so smooth. I can barely tell I'm adding anything, which is something good for when you're trying to have a no makeup makeup look. You want to use your lighter products because I mean no makeup makeup look means that it's not gonna always be full coverage or any of that I'm gonna go in with a brush but I think this might be using complexion sticks I feel like blend better with sponges than with brushes so I want to apply some more I'm gonna use my sponge. Excuse my dirty sponge. Like this is so light, I can't even tell if I've added anything. What do y'all think? Like, girl, where'd it go? I'm not mad at it. It's definitely perfect for summer North Carolina heat because I don't even where she go I'm gonna add a little bit more I think this I was worried about this shade but I think it actually is a good blend or a good shade for me I'm gonna turn the brightness down so y'all can tell me what you think. But yeah, like, it feels so lightweight. It also feels moisturizing. Like it just goes on so smooth. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. So now that we've applied the base, I low key feel like you can put this on and in your routine here. That's how it has me feeling. So I feel like I recommend, I like the product. I think it blends better with the sponge than with the brush because of the consistency of it. It's kind of dry, not dry. It's not, I feel like brushes work better with liquid products than with cream products, which is what this is. I feel like the sponge blends it down a lot better. So now next into our no makeup makeup routine we need to conceal. So no makeup makeup looks, I like to use concealer that is close to my complexion and then add a little, a lighter concealer on top. It's optional to do it that way, but it's just cause you don't want the overly bright under eye that you go with your, do with your full glam looks because we're not trying to do full glam. We're trying to just look like we have makeup on but not have makeup on. Like we want to look like our skin just, is just like that. So I'm going to take a concealer that is close to my complexion first and I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit while that happens well yes I'm gonna let it dry down first then we're gonna blend it out and apply a concealer that's a little bit lighter just to give a little life and dimension to our face but not too much and we really almost halfway done with the face, y'all. Trying to tell y'all this is minimal. Look, this is minimalistic makeup. Like, you could do this in 15, 20 minutes. I'm trying to tell y'all. If you're a little slower, then okay. 
30 minutes but legit 15 20 minutes so because i don't have any other prep sponges and i need to wash them i'm going in with the same sponge that i just used and blend out my concealer all right so now we blended out the concealer that's close in my complexion and now i'm going to add in a lighter concealer on top of that and i'm only going to do this underneath my eye so for the under eye area to get a brighter under eye while that is drying down we are going to apply our cream blush because you want to apply your cream bl blushes before you apply any setting powder or powder to your face you want to use this while you have your wet or damp products on before you use anything drying so we're going to go in with flush balm cheek color in the shade beverly heels all right and i'm just going to place it onto the highest part of my cheek so yeah a little color payoff it's not that great it's also picking up the foundation um, and this is just with my skin complexion so so I think this would be better on bare skin than being placed on top of the foundation because of the balmy texture is picking up product instead of leaving behind and I'll show you what I mean by that so if you can see the color on top of the balm that's the foundation that's being picked up so I mean I get a little bit of a peachy pink color it's not as much as I would like but it'll work and I'm just using a brush to get some of that greasy kind of texture off of it I'm gonna blend out my concealer now all right so now I'm going to go in and set my face all right after setting I'm going to dust off the excess powder using a pressed powder that's close to my skin complexion and this just helps with flashback so you don't have any kind of evens out everything that you've done i still don't see the blush so so far the blush um is not the best for my skin complexion on and not the best for being placed on top of foundation you can likely see here there's a hint of something but um i feel like it was i still feel like it will be best being applied to your bare skin just for a nice warm cheeky look to get you through the day all right so next um at this point in the face routine i like to spray setting spray so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and I like to do this because now it's going to melt all of that powder, all of that product together to give you a smooth look before we move on to add anything else to our face. So once this dries down, it is now time to, if you are someone who likes to contour or if you're someone like me who prefers to bronze, especially in the summertime, now is it time. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my bronzer. Right. now I am finished with the face I'm going to add mascara I'm not gonna wear lashes today all right so now it's time to do the lip so I'm gonna go in with a brown liner and then now I'm going to go in with the slick tinted lip oil I love this color. I think I got a new favorite lip combo, y'all. For this, this is my first lip oil. 
and I can tell it's an oil because you know how oil kind of just sits on your lip. Whereas like lip gloss is like thicker. This is like a lot more lighter. But I love how it looks. Mm -hmm. mm, this might be my favorite part of her routine. Like get into this. Mm. I love her. I, I love her. And y'all, that is the face. The last step is to spray one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face down. And then I'm going to get the rest of me together. And I'm going to come back to talk to y'all about my final thoughts about these products from Merit. And I hope that you're able to learn how you can achieve a quick no makeup makeup look in 15 to 20 minutes because this clip has been 20 minutes long and that's with me talking to y'all stopping to do whatever it is i need to do like i told y'all 20 minutes but let me go get cute and i'll be right back or let me go get cuter and i'll be right back well this is the final look i love 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 the perfect thing complexion stick because i when i say i barely feel anything on my face i barely feel anything on my face it's lightweight it blends out seamlessly like so seamlessly where it's like you can't even tell if you actually blending your makeup out or not i like that and then i love 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 the lip oil the flush balm cheek balm um that is still to be determined like i said i think that it is best used not on top of your foundation and probably just on your bare skin um and i might try again a different way of applying it to see if there's a better color payoff but today like right now i don't see anything besides i have a kind of sheen or glow on my cheeks but it's not really colorful um but the packaging and everything else, amazing. Love it. Uh, like I said, it will be linked down below um, where if you're interested in purchasing any of these products, go ahead and check them out. They have several different options, but I definitely love and recommend the stick and this lip oil. Like, get into this lip, y'all. Get, do y'all see that? Get into that. She might not be a dude. Love. I love this for me. I love it. But yes, tell me what y'all think about this look, these products, if you're going to try them. If you learned anything new about a quick makeup routine, let me know that too down in the comment section. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Yeah.